Hello there, Randy. I just wanted to start off by saying hope you're doing well, hope you're taking care of yourselves and staying safe and and all that is good in the world. Of course, I also want to thank you for being a fan of Once Upon a Time. Thank you so much for being a fan of, of Henry. Thank you so much for being a fan of me. Seriously, it means the absolute world. Knowing the, the series has fans like you that are supporting it and keeping the magic alive means, well, means everything to me. So thank you so much for being a fan of the show. Of course, on to your questions. You asked uh, how many uh, Emma Swan daggers were used on set, and to be completely honest, I can't give you an exact number because I don't actually know what the exact number is. I know for sure that we had many daggers, whether it was the Emma dagger or the Rumpelstiltskin dagger or whatever it may have been, um, but we had many daggers, um, likely more than two, um, and I honestly couldn't tell you uh, how to tell which one was used in which scene. Um, it's kind of, that That would be something that uh, only the props team would know, props department would know. Um, we did have multiple versions of pretty much every uh, bladed weapon, um, I guess, or a bladed s prop uh, on set, because of course we had the, um, we had, some were made of bamboo, some were made of plastic, some were made of um, actual metal. Um, we had props of a whole bunch of different varieties used for different things. In close-ups, you use, um, well, you'd use the, the real one, as it were, and then for uh, instances where the camera is a bit farther out, uh, the shot that is, is uh, where you can't really see the details of the prop, we probably use a, um, well, one made of bamboo, but, um, there were several daggers. There were there were definitely more than one. Um, you asked what uh, what the number one prop of the show. Uh, uh, hard to say. Um, it is hard to say what my favorite prop was. I got to work with a lot of the props, which is super cool. I got to play with a lot of swords, which was awesome. Uh, and I always had to have the book with me, which was also a super cool prop. I always loved the books, uh, especially the ones with art in them, because I loved the artwork. Uh, I could I could tell you what my least favorite prop was. That damn backpack, um, I could not stand lugging that backpack around, especially when they put the book in it because it would be so heavy and we'd be, be, be out in the pouring rain. It's beside the point. But um, there were so many props on the show. I loved working. I, I just, I loved the, the atmosphere. I loved working with all the props. And the props department, the guys in the props department were amazing and fantastic and uh great friends now you asked where uh what place uh places did you go to film indoor slash outdoor scenes um we filmed outdoor scenes all over vancouver i couldn't give you an exact place um where we filmed outdoor scenes we filmed indoor scenes uh in select buildings across vancouver as well um vancouver and steveston or richmond um British Columbia in, in, in Canada. Um, however, a lot of our interior shots were done at Bridges Studios in Burnaby, um, which I have many fond memories there. But yes, uh, Bridges is amazing and wonderful and fantastic. And uh, we spent many hours filming on their stages or sound stages, whatever you would like to call it. Um, and finally, you asked who my favorite cast member was to work with on set, and honestly, I couldn't give you an answer. Uh, I loved working with all the cast. They were, they are my family, and I miss, I miss working with them. I, I miss, I miss those, those days on set. I miss the atmosphere. I miss the company. I miss, I miss my second family. But uh, thank you so much for being a fan. Thank you so much for supporting the series. You're awesome. You're amazing. You're fantastic. You're wonderful. Uh, I hope that helped answer your questions. And until next time, take care of yourself and stay fantastic.